Good morning, everyone. This is Deborah. I made a video yesterday, um, and I uploaded it, and then I decided not to share it. This morning, um, I feel that I need to. Um, I was very encouraged because I received a word on May 1st and I will read it to you now. This was not my journal. I made another copy because I'm at my mom's house right now. Um, this is May 1st and I had felt the Lord's presence. And again, I have not been asking the Lord to speak with me because uh, I've shared with you a few times on my channel that I have been hearing things since 2000 when Father spoke to me he broke into my life supernaturally and he said the Christ is coming soon and my people are not ready so uh, he told me at the time that I was going on a journey that it would be very long but at the end I would see his glory so Sometimes I get, I, I don't know what the word is, but when I hear the same things and it doesn't seem to happen, I get, I just begin to wonder. So on May 1st, I got this message from him. My beloved daughter, I will speak to you this day. I do want to tell you some things you need to know. I am coming for you. I have told you this. Only believe me. Keep trusting. Keep waiting. You are my beloved. I would not tell you this if it were not so. The wait for you has been long, but it has accomplished what I wanted to achieve. You cannot see the things I have done within you. You have felt my ministerings and soon you will emerge as a new person. Now I heard in my spirit, full of splendor. This is what I heard. You will emerge as a new person, full of splendor. I didn't write it down because it was just, it's hard for me to accept that. But I repent of it. Um, and he went on to say, perfect in all your ways. So what he said was, you will emerge as a new person, full of splendor, perfect in all your ways. Keep looking to me. I am your life, your hope, your longing. I am pleased with you. And then um, I was sharing with someone in my life about these things and again giving a warning that Christ is coming soon and this person told me people have been saying that since biblical days and um, I was just a little bit discouraged because I have been sharing with this person for quite a while and it seems that um, he has turned away and decided that the things I am, have been sharing with him are, I just don't think he's believing. So anyway, I took it to the Lord because I have the same questions in my mind. It's like, you know, they said in the Bible that Jesus was coming soon and that was 2,000 years ago and you hear that from a lot of people. So yesterday, uh, oh, okay, so I took it to the Lord. After he gave me this word, I said, Father, you have got to give me confirmation about this. You have been telling me you're coming for me for quite a while now, and I really need a confirmation. So I had a dream that night, the night before last it was. And in the dream, I was standing in a kitchen and it had a counter, like, well, it had like a, a peninsula. It's not an island. It was attached to the wall. 
and a friend of mine was there and her wedding dress was on the counter and she left the room and I looked at the dress and there was a stain up around the shoulder area and I took some olive oil of all things and I tried to clean the stain off the dress and it looked like I made it worse you know because then you could see the olive oil so then there was a bunch of dresses on the counter I know it's funny how these things happen but so I put this dress among the other ones I like hid it which was not a very honest thing to do but that's what I did and then these women came into the room and they were all excited and they were chattering and they were excited because they were um, going to be married or yeah they were excited because they thought they were going to be married and um, I saw that the dresses on the, this peninsula were their wedding dresses but they didn't look like wedding dresses because they were not appropriate for a wedding they appeared they basically looked black all of them I don't know if every one of them was black but when I looked at the pile all I saw was black and I picked up one of the dresses and held it up and this thing was sheer you could see right through it and it was black and um, it had like a hoop skirt at the bottom it was very strange and I put it back down on I put it back down on the pile and I was just, I was apart from these women they were in one group and I was kind of by myself over in the other part of the room and this woman walked right up to me through the crowd she came directly to me and this was a real person it was a dream but I knew this was a real person and I knew in my heart in my spirit that father had sent her to me and she spoke and she said you are hearing from our father and then she said he is so close and we both were just covered by the spirit I could feel even in my sleep I could feel the presence of the Holy Spirit and I knew that our father was very close and that I I would be seeing him soon it was a very exciting feeling and I woke up at 1 44 in the morning now I have shared with you guys that I believe the Lord showed me that I was part of the 144,000 I have taken a lot of hits about that because men and women think that they are single Jewish men who are virgins well that's what I used to think too until the Holy Spirit showed me something different um, virgins represent people who have not been uh, you know the Bible talks about harlot Israel they're prostitutes so virgins are those who have not been prostituted have not been sold out to the false religions um, we know that Paul says there's neither Jew nor Greek there's neither male nor female and I know that there's a lot of discussion even among expert theologians about this subject but I can only share what the Lord has told me so I was seeing 144 in various ways for like months everywhere I looked this number was was showing up and um, one day the Lord I was riding in a car and I heard the Holy Spirit tell me that I was going to Jerusalem I said I, I couldn't believe that I was like going to Jerusalem why would I be going to Jerusalem and as we took the turn uh, there was a traffic light we took a red light the, the light was red we took a turn after turn green and I am not kidding you on the side of the road was a road sign and it said Jerusalem it was white and it had black letters and it was in the middle of a shopping area there is no reason why that word Jerusalem was on that sign when I rode by there later that sign was not there so I know I'm going to Jerusalem I don't know when I don't know how I'm going to get there but anyway 
um, I had stopped seeing this 144 for a couple weeks, and I was like, oh my, I've done something, the Lord's changed his mind. I mean, I do that a lot. I shouldn't, but I'm not very secure about who I am in Christ. I'm working on that. So I woke up at 144, and I knew that that was a sign to me. And then the Lord had me read Psalm 118, and then he gave me different scriptures out of Zechariah, and uh, I forgot the other one. I have it in my journal, but that's at home. So I wanted to share with you this dream and the confirmation that Father gave me that I am hearing from him, and he also gave me the understanding that these women who think they're going to the wedding, that they are not ready. The dresses that they think they are wearing are not appropriate. I believe that speaks to the ones who are believing deception. And I don't call anybody out. I have enough of my own fears that I am deceived sometimes. So just continue to pray for each other, guys. We can't point fingers. I mean, yes, we can speak about scripture and, and things the Lord has shared uh, with us, but we don't know the whole picture. I keep saying this. We each have been giving a part, and the way we treat others about the part they've been given or the part they're sharing is critical in how we are going to be treated and what's going to happen uh, when we see our king, because even if we think someone is deceived, we are to do it in love if we're going to bring correction, by the Holy Spirit, not out of our own flesh. And um, so that's just a warning. Those wedding dresses being black and inappropriate for a wedding tell me that there are people out there who think they're ready and they're not. And I'm not accusing anyone because tell, I, I tell you the truth. There's many times when I even wonder if I'm ready. So I love you guys. I wanted to share this. And I really, really hope I'll see you all soon. Bye.